Let's talk about each of these numbers, all right? First number, let's look at the 11. These people didn't do anything wrong, but they were found guilty. Is that the way it's supposed to work? These are the ones where they come back years later, maybe, and say, yeah, we made a mistake. These people, this is a mistake, right? Do you understand that that's a mistake? If you didn't do something, you didn't do it, but you were you found guilty in the court of law, that's a bad situation to be in. No, no one wants to be there, right? That's the worst. Someone comes to your house and says, hey, we're arresting you for this crime. You go in there and they say, yeah, you're the one who did it. When you did nothing wrong, that's what, these 11, that's what happened to these 11 people. Okay, that happens. Um, this would, anytime you have a, like a mistake, it's called a false, because this is, this is not what's supposed to happen, right? This is called a false positive. They were actually found guilty. I think I need to write that a little bit bigger. Hang on. That's a false positive. They were mistakenly false, mistakenly found guilty, found the thing that people are looking for in court. Do you understand why that's a false positive? They were they were they were actually found to be what they were looking for. Guilty. Okay, now how about this one? They did it, they were found guilty. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's, that's the way the courts are supposed to work, right? I mean, good or bad, that's subjective, but this is the way the court is supposed to work, right? If you do something bad, you're punished for it. You're found, found guilty. So this is a, um, oh, I forgot what, the, what your word they use in that book. Um, False positive, I think it's true positive. Do you have your book here? I want to make sure I use the same terminology. Yeah, let me see that. It's uh, 153. Some books use different, different words. I want to make sure I stick with this one. Uh, this is what I thought it was, a true positive. means you got it right, they actually did it. This one means you're making a mistake saying they actually did it. This one says you got it right, they actually did it. Do you see the difference there? Okay, now how about this one? They didn't do it and they were found innocent. Is that the way it's supposed to work? If you didn't do something, you better go into court and say, oh, I'm found innocent. This is, this is normal because I actually didn't do something. This is the position you actually want to be in, right? You didn't do it. You were falsely accused, and uh, or you were wrongfully accused, and you got out of it. This is this is good. So this is a true because it's working the way it's supposed to. That's a true positive or negative. This would be a false positive because they got you for what. They're doing. This would be a false negative. I'm sorry, true negative, true negative. A true, you were not found guilty. But you were not found guilty. So maybe I'll, I will change it to not guilty. <clears throat> I illustrate it even a little bit better. So guilty, made a mistake, found guilty, false positive. Didn't make a mistake, you're found guilty. That's a true positive didn't make a mistake, you were actually found not guilty. That's a true negative, you were found not guilty there. The last one, you did it, you were just found not guilty. Is that the way it's supposed to work? Does it work sometimes? Sure, yeah, that, that works. I mean, this happens a lot of the time, well, not a lot of the times, but some of the times. I mean, the, I said O.J. Simpson is kind of a joke, but and that's really what ha I mean, no one can argue that guy's actually a brilliant guy, because he wrote a book about it later saying, if I didn't do it, I didn't do it, but here's how I would have done it, and just kind of spelled it out, right? That's, yeah. um, but anyway, so that's that's what he did. So I think everyone kind of kind of at least assumes he actually did it, but he was found not guilty because of well whatever they said. So this is definitely false, but it's also a negative, false negative. They made a mistake and they didn't find him guilty.
That's how this works. How many people understand the false and true, positive, negatives? Good. All right. So our question is, the question, can you tell me the probability, <coughs> or maybe just the number for first, at first, find the number of the people who were guilty or did it. Guilty or did it? Well, let's see. Guilty or did it? Let's let's look at the guilty first. Okay, we'll look just at guilty. Can you tell me how many people up here were found guilty? Found guilty. Wait a minute. I heard some elevens, and then I heard an eighty-three. Which one is it? This gives you everyone who's found guilty, right? Now, some were falsely found guilty, others were rightfully found guilty. But altogether, these are all the people who were found guilty. You with me on this? So there's 83 from the guilty column. Now, how many people didn't do it? I'm oh, sorry, did it. How many people did it? What did I ask for? Shoot, I asked the wrong thing. Darn it. Well, let's do did it anyway. How many people did it? This is the column of did it's. Did these people do it? Are they in the did it column? Did these people do it? Did these people do it? They're in the did it column. Okay, let me go over this one more time to make sure you really grasp this, okay? These people, they did not do it, yet they were found guilty. These people did it and were found guilty. These people did it, but they were found not guilty. These people didn't do it, and they were found not guilty. Are you seeing this now? So let's answer these questions one more time. How many people were found guilty? 83. Yeah, these were guilty, and these were found guilty. That's 83 people. How many people did it? 81. Where'd you get 81? Great, okay. These people did it, and these people did it. My question is, should I add this and this, and then this and this, to get the total people of guilty or did it? What that comes down to is, do you have any crossover? So if I do this, if I say, oh, guilty people are 11 plus 72, and did it people are 72 plus 9, and I add those, am I going to get above the number of people I'm looking for? Because I have this crossover, so is this mutually exclusive? Is guilty and did it? Are guilty and did it mutually exclusive or not? What do you think? Mutually exclusive means you cannot be in one or the other. Are they mutually exclusive? No. You can definitely be here, right? You can be in both the guilty and the did it column. So these are not mutually exclusive. The thing you have to watch out for in events which are not mutually exclusive is something called the double count. Here, if you're to find the probability, which we will do, if you're to find the probability of rolling a 1 or a 5, there's no way you can be both a 1 or a 5. So you can't possibly double count that occurrence. But here, there are 72 ways you can be both guilty and did it, right? You can count this by 72 extra. So we have to find some way to eliminate this double count. That's what the addition rule is going to do for us. Okay, so how many people are guilty or did it? We don't have to add all four of these up because we've already counted this guy once. We don't need that one. So how many people are either guilty or did it or both? That's what we're asking here. Guilty or did it or both? How many? How much? 72 are guilty and did it. What I'm asking for is you're either guilty, or you did it, or both. So if you're if you're guilty, if you're in this column, you're automatically guilty, right? That counts. That's that's successfully completing our event of guilty, or did it. 
if you're here, you did it. You don't have to be both guilty and did it to be in this guilty or did it. Remember, or means either or or both. So if you're here, if you're here, do you fall in this case? Yes, you're guilty. If you're here, do you fall in this case? Yeah, you did it. If you're here, do you fall in this case? Absolutely, you're both. You're both of them. But for or, you don't need to be both. Just fall in one of them. So let's ask the question one more time. How many people are guilty or did it or both? Here's guilty. Here's did it. Here's both. Not just It's not just 72. It's 72 and what? What? What else? Besides the 72, what else accomplishes that? Very good. Yeah. So if I add these three numbers, 72 and 9, how much do I get on that? I'm seeing you guys have a little bit of a kind of hitch in, in your giddy up on this. So I'm going to go through it one more time with you, all right? We're trying to ask the question, are you guilty or did it? You could be both. Right? These people are guilty, they automatically fall in that case. Remember, it's either or or both. So you don't have to be both at the same time in order to accomplish the or. Remember this one? Do you have to roll both a 1 or a 5? It's either 1, one or 5. You can't roll both. Uh, you can't roll a 1 or a 5 at the same time. Here, you don't have to be both guilty or did it to satisfy this. What I'm asking is either you're guilty or you did it, or you might be both. So when we look at this, we go, okay, these people are definitely guilty, they have to be on my numbers. These people definitely did it, they have to be on my numbers. These people have to be both guilty and did it. That's like a double whammy. I mean, they're, they're in both spots at the same time. We have to have those people. That's how we're getting the 11 and the 9 and the 72. Raise your hand if you're clear on that. Good, all right. Now the, question, the next question is, can you find the probability of randomly selecting a person who is guilty or did it? Probability of guilty or did it? What we have to do is just like any other probability problem you've, you've ever seen. How many ways could you be guilty or did it over how many total people we just surveyed or observed. So can you tell me how many how many people were guilty or did it that we just talked about? Yeah, remember we're not just here, right? This is guilty and did it. We we don't care for both. It's either e, either or both. In, like any of these three cases will satisfy that. That's how we got the 92. Now wait a second, what number goes there? Or if you don't know the number, how would you find that number? Yeah, if you add them all, that's the total number of people, right? So if you add all of these, these boxes, that will give you everybody who was in that court during that time. Do you understand that part? So let's add those up together. Add all these numbers up, and how much is that? We take 92 divided by 177. We're going to get decimal place to the, or decimal to the third decimal place is what? 